Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and I'm a data analyst and today I wanted to take you through my portfolio. So having a portfolio is one of the best ways to stand out in the data job hunt. That's especially true for people who come from a non-tech background or don't have direct analytics experience. A portfolio is gonna be your way to showcase your abilities and provide examples despite not having the direct working experience in the field. Having a portfolio is something that really helped me get into the field from a non-tech background, and it's something that has continued to help me throughout my career. So if you don't know where to start with your portfolio, my hope is that this video can provide some of that direction. So let's jump in. All right, so here's my portfolio. I just wanna go over what I have here on my page, as well as some best practices that I think make a clean and simple portfolio. So at the top, pretty simple, just some basic info about myself, links to each of my pages, LinkedIn, Tableau Public, GitHub, YouTube. This one is email, as well as a button that directs to my resume that I built within Canva. I have some buttons here that take you to the next section for interactivity. Here I have my about me section, just a quick brief introduction. I don't recommend putting too much in a section like this, just something quick and to the point. Below that is my skills section where I have my technical skills listed as well as some soft skills. And below that is the part of the portfolio that makes it a portfolio, the project section. So I recommend having three to five projects here that collectively cover each of your technical skills. So for each of these, I have the skills mentioned, the project name, quick description, an image, and a button that takes you to the project write-up page. So here's the project write-up page. Just a little bit more info here. And I embedded my SQL script using Snapify. Snapify is a great way to embed your code and make it look really great. Good addition to any portfolio. And at the bottom, I have a screen recording that I recorded through Loom just to show people some of the interactivity within the dashboard. Just another layer that makes the page look really nice. Each page has a back section to take you back to the home page. And so I have five projects here, which I feel is a pretty good sweet spot. Below the project section, I have the professional certification section. This is reserved just for proprietary exam-based certifications. I don't recommend having like a standard online course certification. They typically don't mean too much to employers, but proprietary ones do. So here I have the Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. This is a paid exam issued by Tableau that you have to take at a testing center or do an online proctored exam. Similar certifications would include the Microsoft PL300 for Power BI or the MO200 for Excel. Then at the very bottom, just a quick thank you, as well as links to my socials again. So I built this using Card, which I think is a really great landing page tool. One of the best that I've seen. It's free, easy to use, really simple. They have tons of templates. So next I'd like to show you what Card looks like under the hood when you're creating a page. So here we have the dashboard creation page within card. They just have a bunch of templates to choose from. All of them are really great. And they have a few different styles of portfolio to choose as well. There's the simple profile view, landing page view, form view, portfolio view. And my favorite is actually the sectioned view. So this is what I use to create mine. This is how you get that multiple page effect, which I think is perfect for our purposes because we want a separate page to host the project right up. So let's go ahead and select this template. So here's what the portfolio creation page looks like after you select a template. Pretty easy to navigate. Anything you click on brings up this side panel over here. So for this image, I just select an image to upload. I can change any of my text here. And you can also customize the appearance of your text. So I can change the size, I can change the weight, the line spacing, the letter spacing. There's really a lot you can do here. And this is one of the reasons why I really love cards so much. And so you can see here, this one is laid out a little bit like mine. This is actually the template I chose as a base for mine. And down here are these section breaks where you can create the additional pages. So here's where I would put like a project write up. And the way you navigate to a section break is on these buttons. 
on these buttons, you'll change the URL to the section break name. So you can see here, the section break is titled hashtag one. So the URL we're bringing it to is hashtag one. So when anyone clicks that more button, it takes them down to this hidden page, which makes it look like you have multiple pages on your landing page. Really awesome feature. This is why I like the sectioned type of templates that they have. And from here, the sky is really the limit. Here's where you can add different elements. Here's the embed code that I mentioned, gallery, audio, video. There's tons of stuff you could do. So I encourage you to just get familiar with it. The basics are pretty easy to learn, but you can get more technical with it if you want. But none of it is really too difficult, which is what's really great about it. So there you go. I hope it was helpful to see my portfolio as an example. And I hope it gives you some direction for building your own portfolio. I will have a link in the description to Card Pro. That's what gives you access to additional features like embedding, more templates, some of the different things we looked at. And that link just goes towards supporting this channel. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.